Andreas Giorgio here for Kingdom MMA and I'm now joined by Martin Stapleton who just scored a first round rear naked choke win over Sebastian Fournier. You know, we spoke to you before the fight. Yeah, you yeah. were you were just looking forward to get the occasion on. Um, now was it everything it lived up to be? I think so, yeah. I mean we don't even we look at the crowd out there, man. Look at the crowd we brought. And in Manchester, all, all the guys who fight around Manchester bring bring a good crowd. And when we're putting on performances like that, can you complain, you know? You know, when we spoke to you, you said obviously when you're in the cage you can't really let things outside affect you. Yeah. But how does it feel knowing that you had, you know, such a large crowd cheering you on? Listen, I love the fact that I've got so many people supporting me and I really appreciate this support. But when I'm in the cage, it doesn't matter, you know, it could be on a car park here, it could be on fucking Buckingham Palace, it won't matter, it's just me and him, nothing else matters. You say you didn't know much about him going into it and you went in there not really caring much about him and you just fought your game. Do you think that's important? Maybe something you've not done in the past, you know, you've maybe focused a bit too much on your opponent's game, but here tonight you've done what Martin Stapleton needs to do and, you know, that's shown in your game. Yeah, yeah, I think you could make that assumption, yeah. I, I did just go out there and do whatever I wanted to do. I think the training we've had, as I was prepared to fight anybody in the world tonight, at, in any area, whether they were a stand-up guy, it doesn't matter. I prefer to fight anyone, so I'm just ready for whatever. I've got to ask you about the weight cutting issues. Yeah. You, know, you, you said you were having a good weight cut. Is yeah. there any, any reason? I know it was only a pound, but you know, yeah, there, yeah there, there, there is actually, but it's my fault. Uh, I'm not going to go into it because I don't like making excuses. It's completely my fault. I came in all the weights. It's a bad thing to do. I stick my hands in the air. Won't happen again. Um, it's my fault. Simple as that. You know, with that win, it was an impressive win, and now you've got to be thinking, as you've been saying before. Bama British gold or Bama world gold, you know, either or, you know, any particular? If I'm honest, yeah, I'd like to set the Lonsdale belt because it's a big, you know, it's a big title, it's a traditional thing in boxing and it's coming to everywhere now, you know, that's what I'd like if I'm honest, but if they can offer me a world title, I ain't going to turn it down either. Um, I just want to get in, get in and fight, you know. Titles, titles are there, I think I deserve a shot. I don't think anyone else has got a better, can stick their hand up in front of me. Um, so let's do it. Now, um, everyone here backstage has been talking about maybe the lack of a true face of UK MMA over the past few years. Do you think that you could be the guy, the face of Bama, you know, with your record, with your skills, you know, to take this promotion to the next level? That's for them to decide. I'm, I'll just turn up and do my job, let them do the promoting. You know, I'm, I'll just say it's a fight. I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> As your debut for Bama, you know, how do you think it went? You know, was it everything that you wanted it to be? Couldn't have gone much better, really, could it, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, what, what's, what's set Bama, you know, above all the other places you fought? I know when I asked you before, you said, well, I've not fought there yet. Yeah. But we'll, see, we'll see what happens on the day. But, you know, how's everything been in general here at Bama? I just said in the last interview then, I'm, I'm, if I'm honest, I'm impressed with the way it's run. Everything's ran very smoothly. Um, the officials have all been, you know, you go to a lot of shows and there's just guys in a million different T-shirts. You don't know who's doing what, yeah. what jobs it, but they're all, all T-shirted up. You know, who's doing what, they've all got the credentials room. It's a professional set of guys as well. You, you've got confidence, faith in them. Uh, I'm very impressed with the way Bama runs. And you know, if this is the platform and it goes on from here, then I'm happy. Last thing I've got to ask you, you know, SPG and your own gym in, in Rochdale that you train out of, huge influence on you, how you how you preparing a fight game. You know, what do you think that you're doing right there that's now making you the complete fighter? It all starts in here, man. Yeah. It all starts with mindset. <laughs> You know, uh, I'll just leave it at that. It all starts with your mindset. But yeah, it's all good. Well, Martin, I want to thank you for taking the time for the interview. Thanks and we wish you very good luck going forward. Nice one. Thank you very much. Thank you.